So I've got here, and I'm sorry, I need to subject you guys to a Matt Walsh video. Matt Walsh, I think, is one of the most vile human beings on Earth, in my opinion. He is a giant piece of shit. But here's a video that he made a few years back talking about how he doesn't believe in the right for everyone to vote. Let's listen to what Matt Walsh has to say about voting. Uh, and so it goes, it goes on there. I, you know, we see these kinds of studies and surveys all the time, and it's easy to um, over. So to set this up, he just showed a little segment on how most people don't know what's in the Constitution, and most people were not able to name all 10 of the Bill of Rights. Which is totally understandable, because how many of you out there have the first 10 amendments, you know, the Bill of Rights? How many of you actually have those all memorized? I mean, to be honest, I don't even think I could do it. And you know what? I, I could very well cheat here and have looked this up beforehand, and I didn't. Because I wanted to actually see if I could remember all 10 of the Bill of Rights, right? So let me see if I can remember. Okay, so you have First Amendment, freedom of religion, freedom of free speech, freedom of assembly, and freedom of press. That's the First Amendment, right? All of those are within the First Amendment. Second Amendment, right to bear arms. Third Amendment is... shit, I can't remember. I don't know. I know that the Fourth Amendment is search and seizure. Fifth Amendment is self-incrimination. Uh, shit. I know that there's something in there about quartering troops. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. God, what other ones are there? Search and Caesar. There's fucking right to free assembly. I mean, that's all in the First Amendment. Like, the right to free assembly. That's, like, the important ones. You know what I mean? I mean, what's the Eighth Amendment? What's the Ninth Amendment? Like, I don't fucking know like i don't know that's what the internet's for so you can look this shit up <laughs> so it's like yeah okay i consider myself to be somewhat politically astute at least a little bit i'm politically active i read and stuff like that all the time i have a general idea of what the laws are and you know that kind of thing and so yeah shit does that mean that i shouldn't be allowed to vote I guess, according to Matt Walsh, I shouldn't be, right? Let's listen to what the man has to say, though. Play, you piece of shit. It, and to say, well, yeah, we already know that. We, we already know that. Of course, it's not a surprise. And I, and I guess we do already know it, but I, uh, but I fear that because we're so accustomed to this, and we see the surveys, and you know, Americans don't know anything about uh, the history of their own country, they don't know anything about how their government works or is supposed to work, they don't know anything about anything, you know, we see all the surveys, we see the, the, the dumb guy on the street interviews that are all over YouTube and the late night shows and everything, and we're so accustomed to it that although we, although we realize this is the case, we don't really understand how significant it is and what a problem it is. You know, because we're, we've, we've grown so accustomed to it, we don't stop to think about it. We don't stop to think about the fact that this is a this is a civilizational crisis that we're that we are dealing with. Okay. When you've got a country filled with millions of adults who who don't know anything, who are totally oblivious. Well, first off, let's increase the speed of this a little bit if we can because he talks really super slow. Secondly, not everyone is completely fucking oblivious to everything that has to do with the government or the constitution or everything. No. People know as much as they want to know. I mean, the thing is, yes, okay, the vast majority of the populace is not an expert when it comes to the government or the law. Now, yeah, I agree that basic civics knowledge is something that we really need to have as a country. And other countries on this planet are way better at educating their populace and having a more involved because the reason why is it's because especially in a democracy you need to have an informed populace in order to have a healthy democracy the thing is we do everything we can in this country to produce the exact opposite result so it's no wonder that nobody knows how the government works or nobody can name the first 10 amendments to the constitution 
we basically make it ex extremely difficult for that to happen. The reason why it's so difficult is because of conservatives. That's why. Maybe if we actually taught this shit in schools, like we're supposed to, maybe if we funded the schools like we're supposed to, maybe if conservative media would actually educate people and inform people instead of scare them, then people would actually know what all the amendments to the Constitution are. You know what? I'm going to look it up. We'll come back to the Bill of Rights actually after this and see how many of them I got right. Okay. But let's let's continue on. So Matt Walsh is sad that the government that people don't know much about how the law works or how the government works. Okay. Let's see what he wants to do about it. And yet those same adults have the power to direct the future of our country. And and when it comes to voting, they have the same power that you do. Their vote counts equal to yours. Yep. I mean, the okay. first takeaway always with this kind of thing, first takeaway is always, or it should be, that the education system in America is completely broken. And, yes. And, and it's, actually, it's actually amazing to me that anytime this comes up, very often the education system gets let off the hook. First off, I agree with him. The education is fucked up in this country, right? And it is sad that people don't have an educated take on civics. They don't know what's going on. Once again, the reason it's like that is because of conservatives. Because conservatives keep cutting taxes. Because conservatives do everything they can to not contribute their fair share in order to actually run the country. You know, it costs money to educate people, right? You have to, like, hire teachers. You have to pay for science books. Right. And textbooks of all kinds and, and supplies and that kind of thing. Right. You have to have school uniforms. You have to like have busing for the children and you have to give them lunches and all of this shit is not free. All right. It costs money to do all of this stuff. Conservatives and Republicans in every single school system all around this country repeatedly cut taxes on purpose in order to basically weaken the school systems for a number of effects. First reason being so that they can take them over. They can claim that they're failure so then they could take them over so then they could dictate what the fucking curriculums are. So that they can do things like stop the teaching of, of evolution. And then also like, you know, ban all the books that any book that has anything to do with like a gay person or a black person or a trans person so that they could ban shit like that. That's really what it is. Secondly, they do everything they can to fuck up the public school system so that they can pass laws in order to get vouchers so that people will use tax dollars to pay for religious schooling. That's the fucking plan from conservatives right there. Those are the that's like a two-pronged attack in order to destroy the educational system in this country and they've been doing it for decades and decades and decades they want to control what the curriculums are they want taxes to pay for religious schooling that's what it is that's the two-pronged attack that they've been doing it everywhere in this country every single fucking state every state in the country this is like I mean, even up until like you know all of this shit that you see with like proud boys showing up at at fucking school boards and intimidating people putting like in order to stop them from hiring gay people and stuff like that in order to get them to like ban books with like trans content like even that it's it's like it's never ended it never ends they've been doing shit like that for decades back in the 80s it was all about satan the satanic panic and and dungeons and dragons and shit and they were banning books that had anything to do with the occult and that kind of thing people thought all that shit was real it was the same thing that we're seeing today with the trans uh, stuff and they were banning books part of the satanic panic was about banning books trying to stop our kids from being brainwashed by the fucking satanic wizards and shit i wish i was making it up it's like it's the exact same fucking thing except now today it's all about gay people and trans people in books and how they're grooming children and all that. It's like the exact same fucking playbook, right? They've been doing it for years. They've been trying, and it's all a cover 
It's a cover to get rid of, basically to remove science education in school so that they don't have to have things like sex education. And in particular, sex education, and in particular, evolution. That's what it's been for the last fucking, like, 50 years. It's such fucking bullshit. And then this guy turns around and says, education is atrocious in this country. It's like, yes, you people made it fucking atrocious, Matt Walsh. Conservatives are the reason why education is so fucked up in this country. Moving on. Play. When we talk about problems in the education system, and yeah, conversations about the problems in the education system come up a lot. But somehow we, we often miss the biggest problem, which is that the education system is just simply failing to educate people. It's not doing the job. It, it, it's not working. Okay, when you can have millions of people who can go through really 13 years of formal grade school education from K through 12, and they're going into a building that is called a school where they're supposed to be educated, and that's what they're there for, and they're there for six hours a day, okay? Um, and they go there. And they come out, and then many of them go to another four years of additional education. Okay, and, and now we're talking about 16 or 17 years. S think about that. 16 or 17 years of formal education. And yet many of these people are coming out on the other end of that, knowing basically nothing about the world, about their country, about themselves. If anything, coming out more confused about everything than they were going in. Nope, that's not true. You think they know nothing, but that's not true at all. People are not as stupid as Matt Walsh makes it sound like. They'll they'll take like these sort of man in the street interviews, right? Like Jane Leno used to do this all the time. And he would go up to like just some random dude in the street and start asking him questions. And they say it's funny, ha ha ha. And the thing is, conservatives think shit like that is real. And they say, see, this guy doesn't, you know... People are stupid. They don't even know basic fucking whatever. It's like, well, no. If you just go to some Yahoo in the middle of the fucking street, he's probably not going to know very much. But most people actually do know what the laws are. Most people do know the basic function of the government and how many branches there are and what the Supreme Court does and the, the three equal branches of government and what like a president can do and what he can't do and what his function is and stuff like that. Most people do know this kind of thing. The shit he's saying is not really relevant. You can have a healthy democracy without every single person in the country being a political science expert. Am I wrong here? It's not uh, the reason what I'm getting at here. What I'm getting at is this is no basis to restrict people's voting rights. Okay, someone's dumb. Well, no. You think someone's dumb. See, that's the difference, right? He thinks people are fucking stupid, but it's not... In real life, people are not stupid at all. No. People are just more informed on different things. Not really. Like, you know, Congress votes on a farm bill every year. Does every single person need to know every single fucking thing that's in that farm bill every fucking year? No. Not really. Does it affect your life in any way? Not really. <laughs> what about uh, the budget? You know, they just approved a $1.4 trillion budget right now. Like, they, they approved the spending cap for it. That's what the budget's going to... That's going to be the spending cap. But when the budget comes around... Does every single citizen in the country need to know everything that's in that budget? Every single provision in that budget? Every single law that's in that budget? Every single section of whatever that describes everything and how the money's going to get spent? Everywhere around the country? Does everybody need to know that in order to have a healthy democracy? No. No, you don't. Okay? It would be nice if they did. It would be nice if every single person knew was was in the budget so that when their respective representative voted for it they could decide whether they support that representative or not in the next election it would be nice if people paid attention to it but it's not required and it doesn't make people stupid because they don't know a basic knowledge of civics is conducive to a healthy society but it's not necessary it's a basic knowledge does that mean if you if you can't name, if you can't rattle off all 10 of the Bill of Rights, does that mean that you don't get a lot, be allowed to vote? Does that mean that you shouldn't be allowed to vote? Does that mean that somebody like Matt Walsh should be allowed to dictate who can and can't vote? 
based on what he thinks that we should all have memorized. Fuck you, Matt Walsh. <laughs> Let's listen to a little bit more of this. Let's listen to this segment and then we'll turn this shit off. And it's incredible that, that, that we can all be witnessing this happening and we all know that it's happening and we're not having any kind of serious conversation about the utter failure of the education system and the fact that it, that, that it, it needs to be t- torn down and rebuilt fundamentally from the ground up. It is completely, there's no saving it, okay? This is one of the, this is like a, a home that you look at. There's some homes you look at, you could say, well, there's a, this is a rehab job. You could do a little remodeling, you know, remodel the kitchen, maybe put an addition on. And there are other houses that you look at and you say, that's a teardown. There's, you cannot salvage it. It's, 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 bro- it's very foundations are rotted away. There's nothing you can do. You got to tear it down completely. And, and that's where we are with the education system. And there's just, there's no getting around that at this point. That's bullshit. That's so, absolute fucking bullshit. No, just he because he thinks people aren't educated because people are not memorizing shit that he thinks that we should have be memorized. Really, what he's really saying here, by the way, is because people are voting for Democrats. That's what he's really hinting at. You know, he doesn't want to actually straight out say it. If you read between the lines here, this is what he's really getting at. People vote for Democrats, so they must be dumb. So that we need to stop people from fucking, from voting because they're voting for Democrats. And he's using this idea that people are uneducated. People are uneducated as an excuse to take away their voting rights. The correct answer to this is fuck you. <laughs> that's the correct answer. Fuck you, right? Who the hell... You know, that's the thing about a right. It's, you have a right to do something. That means that there's no qualifier. It's not. It's not you have a right but or you have a right only like you have a right to this but only if you do the way that we want like no no there is no right to vote but only because only if you vote republican or only if you vote democrat or only if you vote the way that we want you to vote no you either have the right to fucking do it or you don't get the fuck out of my face with this like you're too stupid to vote fuck you that's one conversation that we should be having and the other conversation that we should be having but we're not is that, um, is that hopping up on my old, uh, on this hobby horse for me, that th- th- these people should not be allowed to vote? I mean, you hear people say that in a half-joking way. Oh, I can't believe these people can vote. But, but really, they shouldn't be able to. Like, actually, they should not be able to vote. That should be mm. something that we, th- that becomes a serious topic of conversation. Okay, like the kind of thing that comes up in presidential debates. See, he's straight out saying it. Okay, like, an issue that political parties have to deal with in their platforms. I just like, I I have to commend the guy for just not beating around the bush and trying to hide his true intentions. In the past, pundits and politicians have always sort of used weasel words when it comes to this. They were always too chicken shit to just straight out say, oh, we should take away people's voting rights. They were always too fucking, like, afraid. And they would have to, like, basically beat around the bush with it and just sort of hint at it using dog whistles and stuff and just saying oh we should you know limit the rights of people that it's unfair when they vote whatever and you know matt walsh i guess gets to be commended for just straight out saying no we should just take away your right to vote i guess it's it's better now it's better that the fascists are just straight up fucking mask off and they just don't give a fuck about hiding it anymore because now we know who we get to fight against now we know that who the bad guys are it makes it much easier to figure out who the fucking assholes are when they straight up tell you, doesn't it, folks? We should really be talking about this. But there are a lot of people who are voting in this country who should not have that right. They don't deserve it. And as I've tried to explain many times, the right to vote, it is not a God-given right guaranteed to everybody regardless of anything. It's not. Okay, it, 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 it's, not it's not fundamental to your human nature that you automatically are entitled to um, have a say over the you know political system in your country it's not there, there are some basic <laughs> guidelines that should be in place you should you should have to earn that right you hear that he doesn't want you to have any say in the political system in your country he doesn't want you to be to even have that ability if you don't vote the way that he wants this is what it's really about all right it's got nothing to do with education Right, that's just a pretext. Okay, he doesn't actually give a fuck if anybody out there can name a Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments. 
right? I bet you a million dollars if I were to just like randomly ask Matt Walsh with no prep time, he probably wouldn't get all 10 of them either, right? I don't even think most people would be able to get, most people in the country would be able to get all 10 of them without thinking about, without preparing for it. Unless they were lawyers, maybe. Maybe lawyers would probably get it. Maybe journalists would probably get it. Somebody who works in politics for a living or who discusses politics for a living would probably get it. I don't know. Maybe Matt Walsh has not memorized. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be allowed to vote. Because who the fuck are you to say who gets to vote or not? Who the fuck are you to say that someone is too fucking stupid to vote? I mean, do you want to just, like, give people IQ tests? Is that what we're going to do in order to, like, determine, like, who gets to vote? If you haven't earned that right, then who gets to vote? So there's a test. Okay, so then you have to take a test in order to fucking vote. Like I said before, when we were talking about Vivek Ramaswamy, if that's what it comes down to, then the test will be impossible to pass. They want, if they don't want you, you know, if we allow them, to do shit like that in order to like, oh, only these people can vote, only the, only the smart people get to vote, then guess what? They'll never fucking allow you to vote. You'll never be smart enough. The test will be impossible to fucking get through. Let's turn this shit off. Fuck you, Matt Walsh, you fucking piece of shit. Hello, folks. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, please consider buying something from my SD shop, supporting me on Patreon liking and subscribing, and checking me out across my social media links listed below. Thank you all so much, and see you next time.